how to create amazing gradient noise effects in Clip Studio Paint. Something like this. First thing to do, go to the window menu to find all the panels that are required. Tool, Subtool, Layer and Layer Property. And once you've got that, create a gradient layer. Layer menu and new layer and go for the gradient option. With your gradient layer, you can modify the gradient origin. You can move it around and change the angle. You can tweak it in numerous ways. Also, via the tool property, what you can do is you can change the shape. You can also change the gradient edge and how it is repeated. You've got multiple rings in that design, so you can create some really beautiful sort of designs just by changing that. I would love to see that feature in many other applications. Clip Studio Paint makes it so easy to create all kinds of amazing gradients. You can also select a pre-built gradient. So in the tool property, just go there and you can just edit the properties, edit gradient, and just select another gradient, or maybe add some additional stops or remove stops. You can drag them around as well, so you can just change that existing gradient very quickly, and then just click OK. And there's quite a few gradients that come with Clip Studio Paint, so it's worth checking out. You can then continue to change the gradient origin as well as angle and much more. Now what you can also do is go to the layer property and click on tone. A tone effect is then applied to the current gradient. And you can see now you can still change the gradient. It's still a live gradient, so you can modify it numerous, numerous ways. Move that around, change origin, Stretch it out, shrink it down. The tone effect changes as the gradient changes. But what you can also do, you can go over to the screen frequency for the dots and you push it down, say like five or six. With a lower setting, you can see the dots. Now you can change the angle of the dots. You can also change the dot position. You can also change the dot setting, such as square or lozenge. And many, many, many others. Line's a nice one. You can also use noise. You can change the noise size and the noise factor. Stretch the noise or squeeze the noise with a lower setting. The gradient is still live, so you can just move it around until you're happy. Also, what you can do, go to the layer color and you can just change the color. Just select a color via the color wheel or a swatch and then click on the layer color or sub color. I want a copy of the existing layer, so go to layer menu and duplicate layer. Now you've got two layers, look exactly the same, but by changing the angle or position of the origin, they are no longer the same. You can also change the color, go and select an orange or green or something, and then click on the layer color or sub color for a garish pink, and you've got two different colors now. Again, you can change the dot position, change the noise size or factor, as well as the angle of the noise. I could also change the dot setting, but I want both layers to be noise. But you can't see the lower layer. Go to the layer panel, change the blending mode for the top layer. And I'm gonna use dark in this video, but you can use others. as multiply, lighten, vivid light, exclusion, the screen, and so on and so on. And of course, I've got just two layers, two noise layers. You don't have to just have two, you could have three, four, five, six, seven, and many, many more. The gradient settings, the tone settings, the colors are all still live, so you can change them over and over. You can continue to change the angle of the dots, as well as many of the other dot settings to create all kinds of amazing tone designs with those gradients. You can save your work via the file menu and export at any time. 
change the edge settings for the gradients or change the opacity for the layers. And once you're happy with all that, go to layer menu and flatten image. And then you can apply effects and all many other things as well. Or maybe export it to Photoshop or Critter or Affinity Photo. Hope you found this video tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Always adding many new tutorials about Clip Studio Paint. Also, please add some comments and uh, a dislike or like. Thank you very much.